What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Animal today, a kitten. So a kind of a tabby sort of kitten. So one with kind of stripes and stuff. A little bit, a little bit of stripes, not too much. Um, so let's give it a go. Landscape page, pencil, and an eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. We start with the eyes, right? So center point of my page is about here. Come up over to the right hand side and we got these big, crazy big eyes. So, yeah, let's just go for it. So we'll go make a real big curved line, right? Up and down like that. And then this. So it's got like a little bit of a point here, right? And then it comes back around the other way. So it goes around there, like to a little point here as well. So then the eye is inside, right? So it's got it's got this like dark section around the actual eye itself. So like the eye like curves around here. And then it comes down the bottom. So it's all black in here. And you kind of like thicken this stuff up. These are like eyelids and stuff. And I'd say you see a little bit of the eye come up this way as well. All right, so this is all just dark sort of eyelid lines and shadows and things. Right, that's the kind of shape we're dealing with, okay? And then kittens, their eyes are kind of like, they don't get this, they look like big kind of, so it's like, it's like a normal cat's eye, but just a bit fatter or something. In this picture anyway it is. So it's like, curves that way. Right. right, so kind of like not skinny sort of thing. And you could just color that black. So when it comes to drawing eyes, right, you can just do it with color or you can leave highlights, right? So what I mean is you can leave like a big highlight here, you know, and then you can color around that, leave that white. Or if you want to just do sort of with pen and ink, right, with sort of your pencil or your pen, you can do this sort of hatching, right? These sort of dark lines makes it appear that it's shadowy, sort of here. I might do another highlight here. I might just another circular sort of thing. Lots of different ways of doing this now. You could just do this with color, of course. And it kind of gets lighter. They get sort of the distance between them separates out as we go down. All right, so like that. Another way of doing a highlight is using white paint on top of all these lines. You know, like a blob. You can do that too. All right, we go over and do the other eye. So you're about eye width, right? The width of his eye will fit in between. Roughly eye width anyway. And then we go sort of same sort of spot, maybe there. Might give him a little bit of a head tilt, you know, like cats sort of these tilted kind of heads. So we maybe go, you know, just make it look a bit cuter around. So that means this eye might be a little bit higher on my page. But you know, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing it. Because I want to. Right, like that, and then, so your point just here, and then a big curving line around, and then up to the corner. Like so. And then we'll do the eye inside again. So you'll do this sort of big circular sort of thing. So it's like curves around the bottom, and goes up the eyelids kind of cover the edges see and then you just color these dark and then maybe thicken this up a little bit and then we'll give them that big eye kind of looks like a grain of rice or 
an almond or something just in there color it in black okay draw in your highlights kind of like a boxy one here and then a circular one just down here and then you can add some hatching again of course this is optional you don't have to do the hatching if you don't like doing hatching i find with the animal drawings it helps though and they get it's more spread out as we go down you don't get as much darkness the shadow is under the eyelid usually it's just that kind of you can go any direction you want some people like to do swirls squiggles you know Right, so then the nose, right? So just down, cat's features are real close together. So the nose is real close to the eyes, right? But in general, like the distance between the two eyes here, if you turn, it'll bring you down to kind of like the bottom of the nose, right? So you've got this like equal triangle between the sort of nose and the eyes, more or less, right? So it'll bring you down to sort of where the middle or the bottom of the nose will be, sort of down here. It'll give you a general shape. And then we'll go just across the nose here at the top. Kind of bumps twice, up and down. Like that. And then we go around the sides. And then it kind of bumps over a nostril. and then into a point at the bottom and there's kind of this little line up the middle and you can make in here dark just to sort of show that there's shadow in there some lines just texture lines and stuff just go up the side of the nose and sort of go down the face I'm using hatching, I'm using light little sketchy sort of lines for this. Because it's more texture really than anything. And then we'll just do the mouth. So, cat mouth, so little kitten mouth, so you can't really see. So we go curves out this way first and then curves out that way. Right, so you can already sort of get a sense of the type of mouth. See, it looks like that. Some people might actually leave it like that, but we'll just go a little bit more. So we'll just add the mouth going this way and this way, just so we get an idea of the fur and stuff. So you can make it furry or you can do a smooth line, it's up to you. And then in here, we have like its lip. Right, and it's like shaded in dark. And then the little chin will come down, so just like a hairy sort of. Line like so, and then you could have some hair lines or texture just there coming down like so okay so we get kind of the overall shape for the face in and then we'll do some details on the face right so now if you want like cats can have this sort of round sort of you know this kind of thing coming around here it's kind of hairy and light so It's kind of just their shape for their mouth or it's usually furry right so, and it is with kittens like incredibly hairy and stuff and with with kittens it kind of it joins their face as well so and in there their whiskers grow out from there so the shape for the head 
So again, it's kind of like it comes out this way. And we're real furry now. So like I'm real big. So and so we're going out this way. And just kind of a hairy textured line. Up around here, eventually it'll join the ears. But before we do that, so we'll just do some more detail lines inside here, okay? So on the forehead, right, we have this sort of section where whiskers grow out, sort of eyelid lines and things, right? So this sort of roundy kind of line like that and then an eyelid line coming across here and a little bit of an eyebrow kind of like a hairy section just there and then something else coming underneath goes up and joins the corner and then we do kind of the same thing over here Just some details around the eyes. Give everything a little bit of texture. Right, like so, basically. You might have like another little face line just coming up here. Right, and like some little line going up the middle of his face, like a furry thing there. Right. Okay, so then cats have whiskers, so we go just these dotted sections coming in towards the nose. Three or four rows, I find is good. Like that kind of thing. And I'll add the whiskers at the end because we've got to like draw on his body in first and stuff. So I'm just sort of cleaning up some of the lines now. Add a bit of shadow maybe. Like so, right, so. At the top of the head up here, he, uh, can't talk, up here, we start ears, right? So the ears are real big on a kitten's head. So they go like bump kind of here first, right? And then it goes up to a point and then down. And it can be a furry line as well if you want to, or smooth, you know. To you. It depends on what style you like. Right, kind of like that. And then we do the same thing up here. So. Down like so. And then hairy, sort of furry hair coming across the top of his head. So, details in this section, okay? So from the side, say like in line with the eyebrow, 
that's where the fur for the ear, the inside of the ear will start, right? So you have this hairy sort of section that goes up around the head and joins kind of the inner ear, right? Like that, and you do the same thing on the other side, starting, so kind of in line with the eyebrow, sort of. And so you just hair lines and just these little spikes. Hmm, like so. And then in here we can have some texture lines for the rest of the hair, right? So like some stuff just coming across like just to show sort of that this is a little bit hairy, just these light little textures. And we will add some black uh, lines also, but this just makes it look like his head is kind of roundy. Right, it just has some fur on it, just gives it some texture, that's all. And then the rest of the fur inside the ear, okay? So we've got like the inner ear, and the edge line, right? So we've got this little edge that kind of go around nearly all the way like that. Gets a bit furry down here. Like so. And then big fur inside. So we're like, like fur protecting the inside of the ear. So it stops like flies and all like insects and things getting into his ear. Just this little protection. Right, this kind of thing. We do the same thing over here. And you can add some shadow in on the inside of the ear if you want so like just some basic sort of hatching lines just inside here right so just makes the inside of his ear look a little bit darker you could even put a pure black shadow if you want Now, so because this guy's kind of tabby, right? I'm going to add some like dots and sort of tiger-like stripes, like stuff like this, okay? And you could do like whatever kind of pattern you want, really. Kind of like this, but you're sort of following the shape of his head sort of here. See? Add another one maybe here. So you're thinking kind of like a little tiger. Maybe maybe one here as well. Coming from like the corner of his eye over here, big one. I'm just kind of making this up kind of, I'm looking at my image, but kind of just adding them wherever I think we need them basically. So I'm 
and we can maybe make the edge of his ear kind of darker, maybe just to put one there. Maybe coming down from his nose as well. There's like a dark one here. Under his eye. Join this one. And yeah, we'll just do sort of the same over here. So, not bad. Let me one of his ear up here. So we're going for this tabby kind of thing. Right, so then the body, right? So he's kind of like lying front paws down here. So, like say real furry again. So, like furry from the head. So, like all the fur kind of joins together. He's like a big ball of fur. So this just like comes down this way, right? And the other side will go down this way some more. Right, and we've got, we have paws down here, so. He's kind of sitting on his front paws, okay? So, say like we got like a bit of an elbow here, comes in. And then a front paw, and a front paw, so. Kind of like front paw here. A front paw here. Okay, and they can be furry sketchy lines. That's our basic shape, okay? And then we'll just get the basic shape for the paws, right? So it just comes across this way. They're just like little sort of blocks, like that. And then his arm comes back like this. Right, so like into his elbow, and his shoulder, but he's all furry and stuff here, so it kind of disappears with all this texture and stuff, right? And then the other one, so like a couple of inside lines for his hand there. And then he goes sort of up this way with all this fur. And then his belly is like in here. And kind of thickening up this line at the bottom of the belly and stuff and the hands will make it look like there's like a shadow under here, so. Okay. And then we just got to do each toe. So, so we start in here. Comes around kind of like that. And then another one here. Kind of dark at the top. And then another one curving this way. And then another one kind of here. Maybe the same thing on this. This pause kind of turned away a little bit. Just like fur and texture if you want. Right, and then he's, he's all furry in, inside here. So like lots of little sort of 
hairy belly lines and stuff. You know, coming down from his neck and all this texture in the middle, all these fur, things like this. like that and then so because he's tabby we're going to add some stripes here as well so we're just going to go like in this way basically with some stripes coming down towards his his fur just in here I mean, you're just trying to make him look kind of like a tiger. A dangerous tiger. <laughs> Maybe some underneath his chin. And we just keep sort of adding these kind of lines, basically. King of the jungle. <laughs> I have two cats, so I like cats. Just so so everyone's clear. So why are you going on like this? Okay, but in general, you can make maybe we make these darker a little bit more black. Yeah, I'll fill them in just so they look less kind of hairy. Okay, so it's like the front half. We can just see his his back here as well, and a back paw, right? So, like say like just coming down this way, right? So hairy, kind of down to there, and then his back paw kind of lines up with his elbow, right? So the bottom of it is here. Maybe like a couple of toes, but not much. And then there's like some extra fur lines and stuff. For like his ribs and some more sort of tabbiness. Going around his back, just going that way. And sometimes like going over your edge lines, thickening them up. You know, still if you want to keep them hairy you can, you know, you can just add these sort of squiggly sort of marks, but I find with drawings like this, thickening up the edge lines sometimes helps. Mm -hmm. And all that's left is the tail. The little tiny little tail. And he's like got some tabbiness on it too. 
that's a scientific term, tabbiness. I was born with much tabbiness. And again, thickening up the edge of his tail. All right, so all that's kind of left now is the whiskers. Yeah, so massive whiskers, right? Like crazy, like insane. So like this, right? I'm, I'm not kidding. They're like they're this big. Crazy. So and they're only like some of them are like the size of his body. It's nuts. I wonder if like cat's whiskers are like adult size when they're kittens. Like, cause this is like crazy big compared to the rest of the body. I wonder if kittens like grow into their whiskers. Is that true? Someone out there knows. I await your comment, whoever you are. And he's got some little ones on top of his head as well. These kind of things, two or three of them. Four or five, maybe. Plus, that is how to draw a kitten, a tabby kitten. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.